So y'all, how y'all been? So a few weeks ago, I um decided to use this facial brush to really deep cleanse. And I knew better because I didn't clean the brush before I used it. And I had a really bad breakout on my jawline. And before, when I was younger, I would stay in the house. Not stay in the house, I have still go to work, but <laughs> I would, um, you know, try to hide from the world if I had a really bad breakout. But yeah, I would hide from the world. And when I say hide from the world, I would still have to go to school, still go to work, but I wouldn't do any social activities. I wouldn't go to the gym, I wouldn't go partying, I wouldn't do any of the extra things, you know. Because the thing about acne is everybody sees it. So it's not like, I mean, it's like, everybody's going to see it anyway, but it's hard to cover with makeup. You can still see the texture. So anywho, going for a natural look today. Every time I say natural, I tend to go glam. So natural glam, we'll see. I'm trying out a new eyeshadow that I've had for a while from Chanel. It's this one. I'm going to try that out. And it comes with two looks as far as instructions or tips. There's look one, which is this one. And then there's look two, which is more dramatic. We're going to do look one. So anyway, like I was saying, um, so I had this really bad breakout and at this stage in the game, I sort of kind of know how to control my acne, either through diet, stress reduction, and our products. So I basically said to myself, I need to pick a struggle. I mean, at this stage in the game, I'll be 50 next year. I need to pick a struggle. I mean, I'm either going to have it or not have it. Oh, I'm using this. Um, I'm going to have it till I die, probably. <laughs> There's no cure for this crap, so. Um, I was hoping by, with age, it would kind of diminish, but obviously that's not the case. So, here we are. So, I sent a, did an e-visit to get some antibiotics. I don't like taking antibiotics if I don't need them. My acne isn't severe enough where I need Accutane, but I figured if I was going to do Accutane, I should have done it when I was in my 20s or you know, late 20s, early 30s. But now, no, I don't need lizard skin. I don't need all those things. So it has been helping out, but as you can see, I got one little zip right here. Um, which isn't bad. This is, <laughs> I'd rather deal with that than a whole bunch of little tiny, you know. And then also, um, toothpaste can break out the jawline. Fluoride toothpaste to be exact. Um, I'm still using fluoride toothpaste. So what I do now is I try to wash my face before, no, brush my teeth before I wash my face. If that makes sense. Um, but like I said, it's hormonal mainly, so it's my jawline, it's this area, and I get a random zit here and there, but nothing crazy, but, you know, you smile, I'm like, Ooh. but anyway. Um, what else is going on? Gas prices are astronomical. I think it's going to get to $8 before the end of the year. Hope that's not the case. You, um pay less than the Europeans for gas forever. But I honestly think that we are in a, it's already World War III. It's financial, propaganda, economic. Um, yeah, so the Saudis a few months ago, they said that they were going to slow production down because they felt that the um, need wasn't going to be there. So this was maybe two or three months ago they announced that. They're OPEC. And this is what we're seeing right now. We're seeing less supply, continued demand. And here in Southern California, the price went up 10 cents overnight. So 
yeah yeah so down with the doom and gloom so i'm gonna use this stuff y'all seen before my face um, today is Thursday. It's Thursday night football. My team right now is two and one. We, we'll, my team is the Saints. They're two and one. They lost against. Oh my God! Who did they play the other day? The Falcons. No, it wasn't the Falcons. Oh my God. Anyway. Oh God, who did we play? Oh no, anyway, we lost. We lost like one point. And I didn't watch the game in its entirety, but I guess at some point, fourth quarter, the kicker missed. And every time a kicker misses, I'm like, you got one job. <sighs> one job. Anyway, I think we play the Buccaneers. On Sunday, I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh, and our quarterback is injured. I believe Derek Carr suffered some type of not a tear, but a um. I'll be right back. Okay, so it was an AC joint sprain, and we'll have Jameis Winston as the backup quarterback. And Jameis actually did pretty good last season and previous seasons. So we shall see how that works out. I'm not, I mean, at this point, I like football for the entertainment factor, but I don't invest a whole bunch of energy into it. I know it's a business, all sports are businesses first, athleticism second. It's a business. And when it's a business, that means there's money involved. All that good stuff. They have to be athletic. Remember when, like, you thought wrestling was real and then realized it was just these guys who looked the part, but they were actually practicing like stuntmen? I mean, I'm not saying, well, I am saying that, but. Similar, but the same, but it's entertaining, you know, it's like that hope for it's the camaraderie of believing in something greater than yourself. Sort of, kind of. But I used to do, I studied journalism for a short time in college and, you know, there's a human interest portion of the newspaper or news segment. And then there's the sports section. And so with sports, it's the human factor. It's, um, you know, most people don't participate in sports. So even if you have PE and um, physical education, you know, in schools, it's generally tied to just getting the students out there to participate. So there's like basketball, there's football, there's running, there's track. What if they had us do? I mean, tennis, whatever, but it's only a certain few students who actually excel at said chosen sport or some who do good in all categories. Um, yeah, I don't know, but it's the human factor. It's like the hours that are put into perfecting and or using this next, getting better at a particular sport. The Olympics are coming up, and oh my god, the next year in Paris? Oh my god, yeah. 2024 Paris Olympics. So that's the thing, it's like the draw, it's like the, the ability of the human body to put itself through all this stress to achieve these things things and goals that we believe are important or measures of athleticism you know how far can you jump how fast can you run how many points can you hit with this ball can you hit this ball with this metal not metal wooden stick baseball bat that's coming at you at 80 miles per hour that's like this big <laughs> so it's like everybody's not everybody, but that's the draw. It's the draw that I can't do that, but somebody can. Athletes, 
athletes are our superheroes. So the elephant in the room is this wig that I got from Amazon. And um, yeah, I haven't done anything major to it. I mean, right now it's on my head, as you can see, but it's not what it's supposed to look like at this point. So he, I'm debating if I want to use this on top of this. I'm going outside today. I do need sunscreen, so I'm going to just use my moisturizer, my Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen with SPF 36. This came in handy in traveling because it's a moisturizer and a sunscreen, and it's non-comedogenic so it's not gonna break me out and this is a korean brand i believe yeah it's a korean brand so i tried the whole 10 step korean makeup situation skincare a few years ago and when i tell you that was intense i wasn't trying to get glass skin but i was like oh 10 step that was crazy i was like so you want me to wash my face with a cleanser then you want me to exfoliate and then after i exfoliate you want me to apply a face mask and after the face mask you want me to apply a essence that was a, that was thing the essence and after the essence i you want me to apply a serum after the serum, you wanted me to apply a eye cream. And then that was a moisturizer and I believe sunscreen. At night, you swapped out, didn't include the sunscreen, and you didn't do the face mask, I believe. And I want to say at night, you didn't do the, okay, something is pilly. You didn't do the, um, what am I trying to say? Exfoliation. So I did that for maybe a week. I don't even say a week. I should do Chanel today since I'm doing Chanel. Hmm. Okay, we'll do Chanel. This is the multi-use illuminating base. Um, This is supposed to be a primer, all that other good stuff. So yeah, so... um. I did that for about a week or two, and then I realized this is not for me. This is not for me, but I took away what I, what I was trying to say. I took parts of it that I needed to take from it. So that would be the um, exfoliation, but not every day, maybe every other day. And that could be mechanical or chemical. Right now, I'm using Retin-A. I try to do that every other, every other day, every other night, actually. You apply that at night only. And then for the um, sunscreen, of course. Eye cream, of course. Serums. Uh, essences. No. Like that whole snail mucin thing is supposed to be really big right now. But see, that's that's one of the things that came from that whole Korean 10 step because I believe it's Coors X they're the main brand that has the snail mucin so that's a layover not a layover it's a um from that whole 10 step Korean thing so you know the TikTok people they they over there going through the crates trying to find stuff and most beauty trends they can be sustainable over time. Some are just that trends and trendy. It's not something that you're supposed to do long term. Because beauty is cyclical like fashion. Like every 20 years, it's the same stuff. It just gets recycled because people, you know, we like, we're not that creative to a degree, but very cyclical. And I'm going to go in with the foundation. I'm BD121 in the Chanel Les Beige. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, when I meant beauty is cyclical, I meant some things like eyebrows and stuff like that. I don't mess with my eyebrows anymore. I used to do, like, really thin brows. 
but you know, if you over plot, it don't come back. <laughs> it don't come back at all. Bleaching. Mm. I used to bleach my eyebrows. I still do every now and again, but I don't um do that anymore. <laughs> Only if I want to. My like, if I bleach them, I don't bleach them really light. I just bleach them light enough where there's a contrast between um my hair and the hair color I'm wearing. Like it's really good with the dark hair color and if you have like a blonde like honey blonde color it just looks better so it's not really harsh oh shit okay. <laughs> use all of this because this shit's expensive but yeah this is one of those NYX I think it's a NYX foundation brush It is coming off a little orangey, but once it oxidizes, it looks better. Not looks better. It's um, it's not a perfect match, but I'm looking in the mirror and I'm looking over here. Oh no, it's a little patchy. Bring it down the neck because you know. <laughs> I'll wash my hands. Set all of this with this. You know, you know what this is. You know what it is. Um, yeah, so Macy's is having a sale. I don't need to go buy anything else, but it's 15% off beauty stuff. And I think I'm going to go get something only because if you go into the store, they'll honor the discount for the Chanel products. They know Chanel, you never want it also. That is the only reason why. Otherwise, I would not take my butt up in there. And I think I already know what I want. I just want a foundation. There's a dual foundation brush. I'll insert up here. And um, maybe a lippy or something. I don't know. I don't know. But Christmas is less than, I can tell you right now. Well, depending on when this goes up, it might be a while, but three months from now, less than three months. September, October, November, December. Yeah. I don't get into the Christmas spirit until the very last minute. And when I say the last minute, I mean like Christmas Eve sometimes. So <laughs> I generally don't even buy gifts unless it's like a um, work thing where they want us to do the white elephant or gift exchange. And that will force me to go buy stuff because I have a really bad habit of... Um, Buying more gifts than needed because I'm a shopper. I love to shop. Yes. So that's not good. So gift cards are my saving grace because, I mean, who doesn't love a gift card? There was a study that came out a few years ago basically saying that if you give a gift that you would give or like for yourself, it kind of imprints this extra vibe, not vibe, but it's like, like say you like candles, right? <laughs> and you know someone who likes candles and you go candle shopping and you find a candle that you really like that you may actually want for yourself, but instead of buying it for yourself, you buy it for somebody else. So when you gift that gift, when you gift the candle to the person, like this extra layer of thoughtfulness and love that's attached to it because it's something that you would actually want but you know that they want it also i know it don't make sense but that's what they said i mean i don't know who paid for this study but that's what they said 
and I believe it. I believe it. So natural. Natural. So I still need to contour because right now it's looking real flat. Flat. The pancake. This is almost out. I don't think they sell Fenty at Macy's, but if they did, I would go and get it. The ones before I had their sale, they didn't have it. They didn't know they ran out by the time I went into the store. They might have had it online, but I didn't. You know, like I said, Sephora, they be trying to play people when they send stuff. And they ship because the box says Sephora all up on it. And you just want the thieves all up in your business. Like, come on, man. Come on. I know this looks crazy right now, but trust the process. Trust the process. So I'm excited about, I want to see this movie called Creator that comes out tomorrow. And I want to say it's directed by David Blumenthal. I think that's his name. Let me go find out. <clears throat> but it has John Washington, no, John David Washington. I want to say he's the main character and he is Denzel Washington's son. And he starred in Tenet. So I actually watched five times. I'm not gonna talk about that right now, but okay, come on. Um, I want to say Blumenthal. That's the name of the director, but he did um that movie with. I'm having a senior moment. All right, found it. It's Elysium. And it's Neil Bloom Camp. And no, he's not directing this movie, but it's giving the same vibes. Anyway. So yeah, I'm supposed to go see that on Friday. I want to go see that on Friday. I like sci-fi movies. I prefer them over horror movies. I prefer them over thrillers. But if you give me a sci-fi thriller, we're good. And being that it's Halloween season and I think it's AMC, the channel. They're pumping out all of these horror movies. And I was going through Netflix yesterday and they had that movie with um, Russell Crowe, The Priest Exorcist. And for a hot second, I was tempted to watch it. But then I remembered that I don't really like demonic possession movies. So, because they give me nightmares. So. I said, that's not, we're not going to watch that. If I do watch that, it has to be in the daytime. Way long before I go to sleep. Because what we're not going to do is that. So yeah, that comes out tomorrow. And I want to go see that. Me and my friend are supposed to go see that. So that will be exciting. I think the last movie I saw was the Barbie movie. And that was the first time I've been in the movie theater for a hot second and I think the one before that I saw John Wick 4 and before that I was the movie in 2019 pre you know pandemic so I'm excited about that I need to catch up on Ahsoka on Disney Plus. And I think that's it. Oh, and The Witcher on Netflix. That's it. I don't watch too many shows. I don't have any shows that I really like. I was on Twitter the other day. Well, X. It's called X now. I was on X and they were talking about, um, I think one of the people I follow, Cindy Noir, and she was talking about how she is watching scandal for the first time so sorry and um i've never seen an episode of scandal i'm sorry i just never have um and nothing to shonda rhymes like i have nothing against the premise for that show i just 
never got into it. And I remember the hype surrounding it when it was on and people would have watch parties and all this stuff. And I think mainly because I was working night at the time and I was like, if I can't watch it when I want to watch it, I mean, granted there's DVRs and stuff, but it just never appealed to me. So I said, so we guys, so we're celebrating cheating. <laughs> of the highest order. <laughs> I like the president of the United States is having a fling with the fixer. So not even a fling, but you know. I don't know. I just thought it was funny that that's the premise of the show. I mean, I could be wrong. My, you know, that's what I believe the premise of the show is. Like I said, I never watched it, but I think at the time, at the most height of its popularity, it's where, you know, everybody wanted to not be a part of it, but that whole like you know president is having an affair but he's not just having a affair it's an affair with a black woman but then i think it was the sex scenes and all the other stuff no like i said i never watched it so i can't give an opinion on it i could just tell you what my friends were talking about at the time and the Facebook posts and the groups and the watch parties and I was just like, well, it's not, it's not something I can get into at the time. It's not something that I really was interested in. So I missed that whole era. I missed it. But apparently, you know, everything's streaming now, so I guess I could watch it if I really wanted to. But the question becomes, do I really want to? And I'm like, I probably don't because, yeah. Now, I will say that the show that I started watching after the hype died down was Game of Thrones. I binge watched out of that because at the hype, I wasn't, I didn't watch it. I would see these posts and I would be like, oh, that's cute. What's it about? Dragons? <laughs> I don't know. And so um, I never watched it during the height of the show. I just remember that the um, finale, the series finale, people were pissed. They were like, how could they do this? How could they? I was like, oh my God, what, what's happening? People were pissed. And I was like, and then, you know, after I watched it and I watched the series finale, did I feel the same way? I don't know. I think the disappointment was that, what was her name? To, I don't know, to Garrett, chick with the blonde hair, that she got taken out by Jon Snow. You know, there wasn't this come together, we're going to be together and take over the empire and rule the seven, I don't know, what in the world it's called something. Seven seas, or the kingdoms, the seven king, whatever kingdom. I don't, you know. But I don't know. I mean, all I know is I remember watching the first episode. And if you've never seen it, just or if you have seen it, just go back and watch that first episode. And after that first episode, I was like, oh, I see why y'all like this. I see. I see. I see. You know, it's giving scandal vibes. It's like, not a sex scene. I see, I see, I see what y'all like this, but yeah, I just couldn't. Um, I, mm. <laughs> and it comes with these little applicators. I don't know if I should use these. Like, I know they don't. I mean, let's just see. So it says you're supposed to apply the clear light and then the medium. 
I'm assuming this is the clear light, this, this crystal. Let me see. <sighs> Let's see. This is going to be a thing. This is the clear light. Let me see. Um, okay, it's getting ghost, but we'll, we'll keep working with it. I don't want it to be natural, so I'm going to go back in with a brush because I already know this is not. These little Q-tip things, these are for emergencies. Like, if you're stranded somewhere and you don't have your tool, and you're like, let me just use these little sponge applicators because it's going to at least get the product on here. But at the same time, I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. But it's not even, I mean, I have primer on my lips, so maybe that's why, but I don't know. Anyway, um, Okay. Getting ghost, and then I'm supposed to go in with the medium. I'm gonna say it's this color at the bottom. This color right there is the medium, so we're gonna go with that. And that's supposed to be the inner corner over. Oh. Still getting ghost-ish, maybe. Oh, actually, you know what? Don't look that bad. It doesn't. It doesn't actually. Okay. Ooh, oh no! I think I put too much of that light color. Okay. Uh. You know what? I think I'm supposed to go all over with this white. Like all over my And then there's a separate section right here. I don't know. I'm going to go in with this other color. And for that, I am going to use a brush. I'm going to use this one. Okay, that's not bad. But I feel like this should have gone on the outside so it's darker. Um, okay. I'm just gonna blend all this out because right now it's getting, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I don't look that with that and nine times out of ten it don't look how it's supposed to look so this is a safe bet a safe option so, no. all right so i'm gonna apply now this is supposed to be one coat now if you do this if you're like me because one coat turns into a whole glob of mascara and yeah. I appreciate Huda making it one coat. I mean technically yeah. Okay. Ooh, pretty. Pretty. I'm gonna finish off with the Chanel Coral this coral coral red. And it's really pretty. Where they blush. I feel like blush is the one thing. If you feel in line, blah, you apply this and it's like, oh, okay. I see you. I see you. I see you. Hey, look. Mm, no, no. Mm, hey, hi. Mm, hi. <laughs> oh, 
oh my god one time years ago i was on jury duty and this lady she had to be like i don't know how old she was she would just say she was older she had gray hair some wrinkles but you could tell she liked makeup she really liked it because she was wearing um a lot of it and it was not blended well which was okay because she looked like she was happy with her outcome but i just remember thinking like wow like she really is out here out here but you know what if she liked it i loved it but i would just remember thinking like wow it is not blended at all but like i said she she loved it so let me put some more powder under my eyes because i feel like it's gonna oh powder's already creasing okay like i said i'm not oh mm. i have been doing that blushing your nose thing lately but i don't know if i should be doing that because i think i have rosacea around here and i didn't do color correction so um uh, yolo <laughs> okay that's it not too much almost like rudolph okay I'll finish off with some of this Fenty, I think it's cinnamon or the matchstick, just for highlighter under my brows. See, it's just a little, see that? So I'm still gonna blend that out. And then this side, blend that out. Sometimes I put it right here to something extra. <laughs> eh. Mm. Okay. Whew. So it is. Oh. Okay. Not not too shabby. I'm gonna try and fix. Not fix. Just um. Tidy up this situation right here, and then change clothes and I'm in the streets because we try to do this all day. Not. I'm not. So I got dressed. I put on some gloss, blood in my face, cause you know, team oily skin. All right, that looks acceptable-ish. <laughs> <laughs> 